Hey, James, how, how will you look at tonight from a defensive standpoint? You feel like it was a step? You feel like you made a statement? How would you categorize this performance defensively? Defensively, uh, we just got after it. You know, we were all on the same page, uh, you know, from the beginning of the game, that first five. And then even, our, you know, the guys that came in off the bench uh, knew the game plan, executed the game plan, and, um, you know, our results showed. Uh, that first half, you know, they missed shots, and we made them miss shots. Uh, we contested every shot. We rebounded the ball at a high level. Um, and that's what's going to have to say. And you know, that's what we need every single night in order to give ourselves a chance to win. Um, second half, you know, they made some shots, you know, but, you know, once we were already up 30, um, you know, that's what we, what we kind of expected. So, but you got to have that mentality every single game to, to come in defensively with the mindset that we want to shut guys, shut teams out because offensively, you know, it's easy for us. How big will that be? You speak and bringing it every night, finding that consistency. You guys are welcome to Kevin back finally heading into this weekend. How big will consistency be as you get ready to play on the road for a West Coast trip? Uh, huge for us. And hopefully tonight, you know, go, before going on this road, West Coast trip, uh, going on the road, this is a, a great start for us. You know, so we just got to, you know, build this momentum defensively. Uh, like I said, because offensively, is, you know, it's pretty much easy. We got shot makers. We got shot creators. Um, so, but defensively, if we can tie in like we did today, um, then you know we can we can start winning winning some games consecutively. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey James, this is twofold. I mean, what was uh, apparently I guess Jeff uh, talked to you guys after after the last game. I mean, what kind of message did he deliver in terms of this kind of defensive intensity? And I guess the second part is how, how many games do you think it'll take before you guys can realize and say, all right, either this was a one-off and we just kind of had our pride stung and it was a one-off reaction, or we really turned a corner in terms of our consistency defensively? Um, Jeff basically said that we got to, you know, basically have pride and, and guard. Um, you know, the, the way we've been losing, teams that we've been losing to is unacceptable, you know, especially, especially um, the goal we we're trying to, you know, we're trying to reach, um, and so, you know, like I said, this this is, and we've shown signs of, of, of you know, pretty good defense. We just have to be more consistent. Um, we can't make excuses of who is in the lineup, who's not in the lineup, you know, or whatnot. We just have to, whoever's ready to go, whoever's you know on that floor, uh, whatever defensive scheme we have, you have to be ready to go, and you know, whoever checks in the game, you got to be on that same type of time and. That's what we have to have. So, like I said, uh, I can't speak on the pass. Tonight we did a you know, really good job. Now we just had to have some carry over and be consistent with it. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, uh, Joe Harris talked about the importance of communication on defense, too. But then uh, tonight it just seemed to me that guys stayed in front of their – they just did a better, more committed job of staying in front of their man the whole time. Was it just, did everybody just sort of take it personally tonight? That is one of them, but you know, we all know this league is very, very you know, difficult, you know, so communication has to be a key. And, uh, you know, our bigs, especially DeAndre, did an unbelievable job of communicating. You know, when that pick and roll, we know how important, uh, you know, that, that, that Brogdon and, um, and Sabonis pick and roll is. And, and our communication was unbelievable, and it showed. Um, so, you know, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one defensively, obviously, we have to be pretty solid and be great, but our pick-and-roll defense was great tonight. And we have to have communication from all, all five guys on the bench, and I mean, on, on the floor, and they have to be on the same page. And uh, like I said, we just got to have carryover and consistent communication, consistent effort, um, and, and, and knowing what we're, we're trying to accomplish defensively and who we're guarding. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Uh, James, yesterday, DeAndre said, you know, he was, kind of, he was kind of disappointed in, in the way he played. What did you observe from him as the difference tonight? Um, just energy. You know, his energy, defensive intensity. I think for DJ, um, you know, our team is great when he, you know, he's, he's talking, he's communicating to us. Uh, he's defending like he did tonight. He's rebounding the basketball, blocking shots, and just doing all the intangible things um, that we need him to do every single night. Um, and so tonight was, 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 you know, DeAndre Jordan, he was great. Um, but we just have to continue to talk amongst each other on, on what we need defensively, uh, positioning, who we're guarding. Um, that takes effort. That takes, you know, 
sometimes and sometimes it get uncomfortable. Sometimes you have to go through you know times like this where it's difficult, where it's maybe a little bit frustrating, uh, you know, because at the end, the end result it makes it that much greater. So, uh, you know, like we talked about, DeAndre was great tonight. Now for our team, we have to be um, you know that same way every single night. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. James, you've talked about energy, effort, and intensity. Is that what you demand of your teammates, and is that what you demand of yourself? Yeah, because, uh, you know, if we don't have that, we don't have a chance to win it. Uh, more often than not, when we can bring that, you know, possession by possession, quarter by quarter, game by game, um, you know, I don't really like talking about offense because we can score with the best of them, you know, but defensively, we have to have some kind of, like, uh, consistency and some kind of, you know, togetherness um, and, and, you know, like I said, we've shown great signs of it. And then we just show signs where we just don't, you know, we're not on the same page just like individuals out there. Um, and so that's my job. I got to do a better you know, job of just uh, communicating, maybe watching more film, uh, making, you know, communicating more on where guys should be. Just just using my voice a little bit more, um, you know, so so guys can be in their, in, in their spots. And um, defense is not just a one, one man, you know, one man, uh, you know, you know, thing you got you got to be five guys locked in on the same page and uh, making sure you accomplished or want to accomplish the same thing and, and know your personnel so um, as a leader one of the leaders of this team I got to do a better job of communicating and uh, I will be last question Matt Brooks with Nets Daily hey James as you mentioned you guys were you know from the beginning kind of uh, coming out with a lot of fire on defense the communication was there so I just had a question about that communication is that something where one or two guys are leading that communication everybody follows? Or is it something where you guys just all come out and the communication is just there from the get-go as a group? Communication is there as a group, you know. Uh, we got a lot of you know, shy guys on this team, but we got to get out of our, our comfort zone. Uh, we got to be more vocal, you know. We got we to gotta talk because it helps your, your teammate. It helps your defensive positioning, um, you know. You're guarding, and the offensive team is like, "Well, these guys are talking," and it puts a little, you know, doubt in their in their offensive skill as well. So, um, you know, we just got to get out of our comfort zone tonight. I mean, uh, you know, you know, throughout the course of the season, and and over exaggerate our communication. I think if we do that, um, we'll, we'll have better positioning for you know each other, and then we can rebound the basketball, and then that's when we can get on transition, um, and then everybody scores.